Give me my rinky winky ring, give me my rinky do. I love you. What up everyone, it's your girl, Superwoman, and yes, so many of you have commented saying she's not crossing her eyes anymore when she does it. That is intentional. And I know I say this all the time, but I mean this for real Z's. Y'all have been requesting this video for months and months. And I've been ignoring all of you for months and months. And here's why. First of all, using the word fan is a little bit awkward for me, and also I don't want you to feel like I'm making fun of you, but then after seeing all the requests, I watched the first one, Types of Fans Part 1, and I literally laughed out loud because I'm hilarious. So like, I get it. So fine, I'm gonna do Types of Fans part two, but first, disclaimer, disclaimer. You know I love you all, I adore you, you have changed my life, I would never wanna hurt you or offend you, so just remember that as I spend the next few minutes utterly roasting you. Number one, the unintentional meanie. Now I can't tell you how many times a nervous fan has approached me and they think they're being really sweet and genuine, but really they're lowering my self esteem quicker than Rihanna's booty in the work music video. Just like, oh my God, Superwoman, I am, such a huge fan of yours. Aw, thank you. Yeah, like when I first started watching your videos, I didn't really like them, but now I love them. Oh, okay, well, great. Yeah, I mean, they were like really, really bad and like not funny at all. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Did you, did you want to take a picture or something? Yeah, I used to tell all my friends at school that you were a man because you know, you didn't do your makeup well, but then you got better looking. Thank you, yeah. Did you want to pose for the picture or? Oh yeah, also, you know, you actually look nothing like your videos. Yeah, you're really pretty. Oh, I love you so much. Appreciate it. Work, 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 work. You see me every work, 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 work. The amount of times I have heard people say to me, Oh my god, you're actually like really pretty in real life. Really makes me question what the F kind of ogre I look like every Monday and Thursday in my videos. Is this like a known thing? Are people watching my videos for different reasons that I am unaware of? Like here I am thinking I'm making comedy videos. Meanwhile, y'all sitting at home like, Hey mom, come over here. Yeah, Shamu's back out of the ocean. This time she's wearing a snapback. Am I ugly? Is this a, is this a known? Am I ugly? Well, I'm not sorry. This is my face. Number two, premature poser. One of my favorite people to meet. Literally the most adorable. Like you should be a Snapchat filter. Open your mouth, damn it! I expect a rainbow. A premature poser is a fan that approaches me in utter excitement and they're like, Oh my God, Superman! Can we take a selfie? And I'm like, Yeah, for sure. Let's do it. So then we bust out a pose. I'm talking like a boss pose where I'm just like crouching down, bringing on like a squad goes, and I'm posing after a few seconds, I realize like, no one is taking a picture of us. So then I'm all like, hey, wh who's, who's taking the picture? And then they're all like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. Yeah, okay, hey, random stranger, can you take this picture? Or the best, oh my God, F me. The best is when we're posing, just like squad. And I'm like, yo, who's, who's taking the picture? And the person's like, oh what? Oh, oh no, I don't have a camera. I'm, I'm sorry, what? No, I don't have a camera. I thought you had the camera. Bruh! Why are you approaching me as for a picture if you ain't got a camera? Why am I up here dropping this deuce right here? For what reason? Am I in a protest? Am I ordering combo number two? Am I playing rock, paper, scissors, but I'm just like directionally challenged? Why are you up in here orchestrating this? And the person's like, oh my god, I'm so sorry. Yeah, I'm nervous. I forgot. Can you just, can you just sign this for me? And I'm just like, of course. Give me a pen. Oh, oh no, I don't have one. I don't think you know how this works. Did you know sometimes people will approach me in public settings like a mall or restaurant and they'll come up to me like, hey, do you have like a picture of yourself I can sign? And I'm just like, what? Why the F would I be carrying around pictures of myself? Like, do I look like I'm conceited? Do I look like I'm self-absorbed? No, okay, now please go away so I can finish taking this selfie. Huh? Sorry? Oh, yes, this is me on my shirt. Number three, toi, tres. My ear just popped. Tres. 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 No, it stopped. The almost fan. Every once in a while, I'll be out and about, and a fan will approach me super excited. Well, I keep spitting on your face. I'm so sorry. It's a, you're like new. <laughs> that tinkles. <laughs> I'm Elmo. What was I talking about? My leg is itchy. What's going on? I'm, it's so hot. Oh, someone will approach me super excited, like a thousand percent fan going, I'm like, oh my God, are you that girl on YouTube? And then you know me, I'll be all gassed, like, yes, that is correct. That is I. Oh my God, I love you. What is, wait, what was your name again? Is it, um, something girl? Uh, Superwoman. Right, 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 oh my God. Yeah, I watch all of your videos every Tuesday and Wednesday. Really? Because I say my name in the beginning of each one. Oh my God, yeah, yeah, and you do those videos, right, with Mandip and, um, what is it, Pram Tweet? Okay, first of all, 
cram tweet sounds like your British baby started tweeting. And listen, I don't mind if you're not a huge fan, you still want a picture with me, it's okay. I just find it very amusing when you try to convince me that you know a lot about me. You know why? Because me, I, I know a lot about me. And I'm gonna know you're lying. Yeah, I follow all of your posts. Like, what are you doing here in London? Oh, I, yeah, I have a show today. Yeah, I, I've tweeted about it like every single day. What? What, what kind of show? I've been on tour for like, you know, <clears throat> two months. Tour? Wait, oh my god, oh my god, so right, 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 the tour, I know all about the tour, but it's uh, a trip to, what was it, a trip to Ostrich Island? Fake, fake fan, you are a fake fan, okay? If this was a hot summer day and you were the only fan here, I would die of heat stroke. Number four, crazed parents. Do you want to know how to build a successful army? Okay, let me tell you. You don't need soldiers or tanks or weapons. All you need is a group of parents whose kids are trying to meet me. Straight up, parents are the only reason I have security at my meet and greet. It's not for the kids. It's for the parents, okay? Because they can be cray as hell. Parents at my meet and greets can be one of two types of people. Number one, the royal rumble parents. These parents will turn my meet and greet into a last man standing type of environment, okay? There is a system. There is a line. I'm going to meet this person, then this person, than this person, there is a method. But this parent is just gonna be like, oh no, we gotta make our kid meet Superman right now, immediately, because this is Mission Impossible and this meet and greet is gonna self-destruct in five seconds. So I'll be meeting this cutie over here, like of course we can take a selfie, and this parent over here is gonna be like, Lily, Lily please, this is my daughter, take one picture, she loves you so much. And I'm just like, okay, sure, yeah, one second, I'm just gonna meet the people ahead of you over here, hey cutie, how's it going? Lily please, one picture, she loves you, she watched your Wonder Woman video all the time. Okay, I heard you, I just, I, I'm gonna deal with these people first and I'll be right there. Hey, how's it going? Lily, Lily, excuse me. One picture of Lily watching your video every day on Netflix. Okay, I heard you. You don't need to keep repeating the same damn thing to me. I'm gonna deal with this cute kid over here. Okay. Lily, just one picture. Like, oh my god, who invited Hordor into my mother effing meet and greet? Hordor. Number two, the instant chill losers. These will be the parents that want their kids to meet me, but the second they actually meet me, they lose all chill and lose sight of priorities. Hi, Lily, oh my god, it's a pleasure to meet you. This is Ashley, my daughter. She loves your videos. Take a picture. Although, like, you know, I, I actually love your videos. Ashley, take a picture of mommy and Superwoman. Get over here. But mommy, I want a picture with Superwoman. Young lady, do you want a timeout? Take a picture of mommy and Superwoman. Here you go. Let me see. Let me see. It's blurry. Ashley, do better. Mommy, mommy, I want one picture with you, mommy. Ashley walks away with one blurry picture. Her mom is freaking uploading a Facebook album. Mama just went straight Game of Thrones style. Just <laughs> Ashley, I hope you learned a valuable lesson today, okay? All men must die. Learn to hold your own. They get jealous when they see you with your mobile phone. Damn, two Game of Thrones references in one video? I have a problem. Better go drink some wine. Number five, follow fanatics. So we're at a meet and greet, right? And this wonderful fan has waited two hours to meet me and I'm so excited they're approaching me. I can feel I can feel the magic, I'm getting nervous. Like, they're approaching me, I feel sparks flying. They're about to say something. I already know they're gonna tell me everything they love about me. I'm gonna be twirling my hair all shy and stuff. The beautiful words. Will you follow me on Twitter? Let me get this straight. You waited two hours to meet me in real life, not behind the screen, so that you could tell me to follow you on a screen? Hi, hello, this right here, this is, this is real life. Yeah, we can hug, we can shake hands, we can have a conversation. We can be real people. Yeah, do you know how much Pinocchio and Little Mermaid wanted what we have? And the best type of follow fanatics are people who write me notes because I open the note and they'll be like, hey, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. Here's my username, thanks. Bro, you should write Hallmark greeting cards. Look at this, okay, honestly. Did, did you write the script for the notebook? Because honestly, this is literature. Have you forgotten everything you learned about the hamburger model in English class? Okay, bun, stuff in the middle, lettuce, meats, tomatoes, blah, 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 blah. Concluding bun, hello? If this note was a hamburger, I would starve to death. Or they write a letter and instead of signing their name, they sign their Twitter handle. I'm just like, duh. Since when is signing your Twitter handle the same as signing your name? Could you imagine being in school and handing in an essay with your Twitter handle and the teacher just like, oh, the highest mark goes to at Belieber411. Hi, you, right there. Could you just put this in your eye, Cal? If that ever becomes a reality, shoot me in my eyeball. Literally, literally, death of a pupil because of stupid pupils. Shoot me. If I was your teacher, I would send you straight to ESL, okay? Because English is clearly not your first language. You know what is? Memes. One does not simply write their Twitter handle at the bottom of a letter. Oh, you wrote your Twitter handle in this heartfelt letter? I'm sure you're a big fan. Number six? Six? God, God damn it, I had one job. Six. I'm trying to think of the way to make it a T and an F like on a test when it's trying, I'm trying to make it true and false. Like, can I make it six and like, like, Number six, 
compassionate attackers. At least four times during every meet and greet, I will be compassionately attacked by a fan who charges towards me, hugs me, knocks the breath right out of me, almost kills me, but kind of also loves me. An important specific fact, every time this happens and the person hugs me, the backing of my earring, the stick part, will stab my neck. And true story, after every single meet and greet, I have dried blood behind my ear. This is a real thing that happens. Like, bro, calm down. Is this a meet and greet or a football game? Because this is a football game, I know nothing about that sport. So please do not make me participate in the Super Bowl. He's just like a hurricane, patiently waiting in line. And as soon as they get closer, like dogs are running away and crap. They know. He's the woman, oh my god, I'm a big fan of you so I'm gonna suffocate you maybe kill you but you know what I got you these skittles and I'm just like oh please thank you <sighs> thank you <laughs> thank you so much I hope these skittles are from mother effing tuck everlasting because if not I know how to go and revive my corpse right now if I wanted to be suffocated I would walk into a family party and bring up the topic of marriage if I wanted to be suffocated I would have a boyfriend right now and say hey I think we should talk about our feelings but I don't I'm not doing that and I know you love me but I also love my ribs so play nice y'all are crazy effing unicorns and I adore your faces <laughs> hope you enjoyed that video I'm not gonna lie I don't know if it was that good it's just awkward to make fun of you but you wanted it so give it a thumbs up and stuff. Comment below letting me know if you have ever met me and how that experience was or if you've met anyone else that you kind of think is cool, which I don't know if I fall into that category, but comment below and let me know. You can check out my last video right over there. It is called, oh, my honest Q&A. My second vlog channel is right there. Also in just a couple hours, look, look at my watch, look at my watch, is the HTTUI live stream on my channel. It is happening at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on the 5th, which is like, depending on where you are tomorrow or today, Time zones, which means all you gotta do is grab yourself a copy of ATTUI. We can watch it together. You can hear all my live commentary and all the feels. It's gonna be like we're a global family watching the movie together. All the information for that is in the description, so make sure you do that. It's just a few hours from now. Oh my god, the pressure! The pressure! But you know it's not full of pressure. Click and subscribe because I make new videos every Monday and Thursday. One love, Superwoman. That is a wrap and zoop.